This is Lesson 112 in Saxon's Algebra 1, 3rd edition, and this is more on multiplication of radical expressions. Radical, you recall, means it's got that little square root sign somewhere in there. And we've done some multiplication of these radicals, but we're going to take it a step further today, and we're going to um, do our FOIL, uh, if you remember first, outside, inside, and last. So let's just get right down to it and look at what I've done here. So first times um, <clears throat> first, we've got 2 times 3, which is 6. And then we've got 2 times the square root of 8. And then square root of 2 times 3. And then the um, square root of 2 times the square root of 8. All right, so 2 times 3, that was easy, 6. 3 times the square root of 2, that's easy. It can't be simplified. However, when you've got this square root of 8 right here, you need to factor that out, and it is 2 times 2 times 2. So we have a pair of 2s in there. We're going to bring out as 1 and multiply it by what's on the outside, which is 2 times 2, which is 4. And then we have just square root of 2 left over. Here, we do the same thing. So we've got, basically, this boils down to 2 times the square root of 2. So we'll say square root of 2 times square root of 2 times uh, is equal to 4. So, because it's really saying, like, um, well, let's, let's just... Um, work this one out here. So this would be square root of 2, square root of 2, square root of 2. So that's, this is 1 right here, and then you've got 1 right here, so that's square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2, and same thing here, so you've got 2 times 2, which gives you the 4. Now, we can combine 6 and 4 are like terms for 10. And then we've got this narrowed down to 4 times the square root of 2, which can be combined with 3 times the square root of 2 for a total of 7 square root of 2. And this is our final answer because that's as simplified as we can get it. Okay, let's do another one. I tried to do this one in some different colors so that you could kind of keep track with me. So I've got... 4 times 2 here in the purple, and that's the first time term times the first term, and that's 8. Then I've got <clears throat> uh, the square root of 5 times 2, which is in the green, and that's 2 square root of 5, and that can't be simplified. Then I've got um, 4 times negative 2 square root of 5, which gives me, in the orange, negative 8 square root of 5, because this 2 times this 4, okay? And then finally, I've got square root of 5 times negative 2 times the square root of 5, gives me this here in the blue, negative 2 times Square root of 5, square root of 5 is actually 5. So I have negative 2 times 5, which is negative 10. When I combine all that together, 8 and negative 10 come together to give me negative 2. And then negative 8 square root of 5 plus 2 square root of 5 equals negative 6 square root of 5. And this is as simple form as I can get that. All right, let's do another one. Okay, so 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 2 square root of 2 is 4 square root of 2. And then our inside terms, 3 times the square root of 2 is 3 square root of 2. And then square root of 2 times 2 times the square root of 2. So, 2 square root of 2 square root of 2. 
this is actually 2 times 2, which is 4. Now this 4 can be combined with this 6 for a total of 10. And this 4 square root of 2 and 3 square root of 2, 7 square root of 2. All right, so let's um, write this out in long form. 2 square root of x plus square root of 3y. I'm sorry, square root of 2x plus square root of 3y. And then we'll do that times itself. All right, the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2, and x times x is x squared. The square root of 2 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 6 xy. And then the same thing in the middle, we've got another 6 xy. I'm sorry, square root of 6 xy. And then the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is 3. And y times y is y squared. Now these two we can add. So when we do, we get 2x squared plus 2 times the square root of 6, xy, plus 3y squared. Good job. All right, I'm going to change my color here real quickly. All right, so 5 times 3, first times first, that's 15. 5 times the square root of 8, and we know that we can break that down in just a minute. And then inside um, two terms would be, 3 times the square root of 2 plus square root of 2 times square root of 8. All right, 15 doesn't simplify, so we're just going to bring it down. Plus 8 is 2, 2, 2. We have a pair of 2s we can bring out. 5 times that pair of 2s is 10, and square root of 2 is left, plus 3 square root of 2. Now we have two like terms that we can add, but we need to do this. This is 2, 2, 2. Circle the pair. And then we have a square root of 2 times the square root of 2. And that is 2 times 2, which is 4. All right, and then we're going to add these two middle terms together. And then we can add this term and this term together. 15 plus 4 is 19 plus 13 square root of 2. All right, in B, we've got the first two terms. 2 times 4 is 8. And then 2 times negative 3 square root of 5 is negative 6 square root of 5. And then our inside terms, we have positive 4 square root of 5, and then we have negative 3 times square root of 5, square root of 5, which we know is 15. Now, negative 6 square root of 5 and, negative, and positive 4 equals negative 2 square root of 5. And 8 and negative 15 would give us negative 7 minus 2 square root of 5. All right, so this is square root of 2 plus square root of 5. And that is squared. So we're going to write it out long form. All right. First times first, the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. And <clears throat> the outside times outside, 
square root of 2 times the square root of 5 is square root of 10. And then inside times inside is also square root of 10. And outside times outside, the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is just 5. Alright, we can combine these first two terms. 2 plus 5 is 7. And the second two terms, the square root of 10 plus the square root of 10 is 2 square root of 10. Okay, and for D, our final one, let's write it out long form. The square root of 2 and X plus the square root of 7 Y and that times itself. Okay, so first times first, square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2, and x times x is x squared. Outside times outside, the square root of 2 times the square root of 7 is square root of 14. And x times y is xy. And then the two inside terms also gives us square root of 14, x, y. And then the two outside terms, square root of 7 times square root of 7 is plus 7. And y times y is y squared. Now I can combine these two middle terms and I'll get 2x squared plus... <coughs> 2 times 14xy plus 7y squared is my final answer. All right, this is um, hopefully going to be really easy for you since we've been working with these for a while now. And uh, I'll see you back next time for lesson 113.